morning folks i'm gonna make a video for you today about the different types of uh, choker rigs and mainline setups for uh for poverty logging if you're a real logger if you got a skidder and knuckle boom or a feller buncher or harvester whatever this video is a waste of time for you other than maybe to laugh or to reminisce about maybe where you started if you're a little guy with a lawn tractor or just bought a kubota and a piece of land or you know, if you're a homesteader or somebody living in a tent starting over, if you got wiped out one way or another by one of, you know, life's unpredictable things, then maybe this video is for you. This might help you out. So stay tuned. Hey, folks, welcome to the Certified Hoarder Show, um, where I try to make use of all things junk and free as for me, and my yard is perpetually crowded with, with crap. All right, so I want to talk to you about all these different things here, what they are. You might have, I mean, if, if you don't know what that is, if that just doesn't make sense to you. Well, you know, let's, let's identify that. What does this do? It allows you to take a shackle or a carabiner or an end termination of some sort, attach this to, a, to something. You can attach it to a main line. That's the main line coming out of your winch. Or it could be on a slide, which is a, a, a device. I mean, this is a homemade slide. This goes on a cable that's attached to your winch, and it slides on that cable. This crease right here holds a chain. That's what it does. And actually, it'll hold two of them. See that? You got two chains. Two chains in one device either on a termination of a main line or on a slide that's on a main line this is a really predominant system in the north northeast where guys like to use choker chains there's a lot of people that love them there's a lot of people that hate them let's take a look at the different styles of choker chains this is one i've made i made this handy dandy red painted little piece of hard steel something out of my scrap pile hooked it on there Obviously, we all know that, so you can shove this underneath a log and reach around the other side and get it. Uh, I probably would have made these a little bit longer. The longer you make them, the more convenient they are when you're using them to get under the under the tree. But the more aggravating they are when they're all in your way. They're a little bit long and dangly. This C-hook right here, pretty handy. Drops in and is pretty good about not dropping a chain. That's all there is to that. You could use a regular slide hook, you know, a, a, a open grab type hook. These latches, these gates, you know, they look, they're cute. Um, maybe outside of the woods. You skid that around on the ground a few times, you're going to rip that off. Everybody knows it. This is a lot better of a style, a lot more durable. It's a heavy latch on it. Same with this one. Although you can mess it up, it does have a spring in there. I prefer to use this on the end of, the, of my winch main line. I use a shackle to attach it to the eyelid of the main line. And this allows me to put on kind of, you know, in just a second I can swap from one thing to the other. This is a chain grab that I made just out of some round stock and a piece of metal and cut some grooves in there. So if I wanna use chain, I can pop that on and hook to a chain choker. I can hook to two or three of them and in just a second. If I don't want to use that, if I want to use cable, I can pop that off and switch to something else. Now, mainline slides. This is a mainline slide that I made. And what a, what a, a mainline slide allows you to do is to bunch logs. Bunching is when you take you got tree parts that are scattered everywhere in all different directions. And you're going to run one cable through the whole mess and you're going to hook a choker around each one and one cable is going to thread in between. So this slide right here is hooked to that log by a choker. And then there's another over here and there's another over here. And your main line fishes through and at the end there's a termination. When you winch in, it's going to pull your furthest one, which is going to slide, come over to this one and it's going to hit. And they'll, they'll, they'll jam up, and then it's going to pull it to your other one, and that'll bunch up, and that's going to bunch up, and then you're going to have your whole cluster together. Hopefully when you get going, 
they all straighten out and they don't jam into 15 other stumps and things and nothing busts and you don't flip your machine or waste your day and cuss which is normally what happens i mean the bigger your machine the more you can rip stuff through but uh anyway this is not gonna this is not for a skitter this is for you with a garden tractor and a winch or you with a, a little 30 horse kubota and a truck winch or a you know some homemade or even not even homemade even a a farmy or what other type of pto winch if you got a half inch cable this is the rig for you and it's not just a piece of sheet metal it looks like it but this has actually got a radius you might be able to see right here there's a slight curve and what it is is i took uh, i took a 180 piece of let's draw it out i had a, a piece of pipe like roll cage tubing that was already bent you can get a scrap from anybody who's got a JD2 bender. There's everybody and their brothers building race cars and motorcycle frames and all that nowadays. So you can get a scrap from somebody, and what you're going to do is you're going to cut out pie cuts like this, and you got to use the long radius, okay? So every other one is junk. So make them make them close, all right? Make them real close like this. Now that long radius, so there's one, there's another, there's another, here's another, and this is trash. So you cut them at a pie cut. And then you take a little jig. This just clamps in the vise, and that's just a piece of round stock. When you cut this thing, it's going to be wide open. You slide it over there, and you can heat it up. You can crimp it in your vise, you can bash it with a hammer, you can do it however you gotta do it. And then you just bore a hole. It's simple as that, you bore a hole. And then you take a shackle, hook your shackle to it. Now, you can make up chokers. You could use some am steel, or this is arborist rope, and believe me, it is tough stuff. It's not like, oh, it's just some little piece of string. This is serious rope, five, 6,000 pound brake strength. So it's, it's every bit comparable to 516's cable. You tie a bowline in one end. That's a bowline with a tuck. Boop. Slip it over. There you go. Easy as that. And you can bunch up a whole lot. If you're just a firewood guy, you can bunch up a whole lot of tops. You go over to your main line, hook her up, and there you go. You're off to the races. You can have five or six of these to, to clinch all those tops, cluster them all together. Um... Obviously, you could you could use a grab hook on there, a regular, a completely regular grab, or a, a latch type open grab. So, now when you're going shackle shopping, the bigger the opening on the shackle, the better off you're going to be. Because if the shackle's real close, then you're going to have to crunch this down, and then it's going to be a pain to slip it on the cable. You want these to be easy to take on and off, and they're consumable. You know, if they get tore up, if you lose them. If you need to take some off or add some on, be careful you don't suck them over to the fair lead because they'll jam up in your winch. So there's that. Um, there's another style that these never come off. The real deal is actual chokers. I think that's three quarter, three quarter cable. And they're phenomenal. The issue is that they're stiff. You're not gonna wrap this this has so much memory to straighten out. So its strength is also its weakness. Its strength is that you can shove it. Ouch, I had a piece loose on the end. You can shove that thing. I'm pushing pretty hard. You can bore a hole in the dirt, shoving that underneath the tree. You can't shove chain, guys. We all know that. So if you're gonna use chain, you either gotta have these rods, or you gotta have a puller, or you gotta have a shovel and a pick and dig under. And sometimes you gotta have all three and you're still cussing. It's sometimes still a big pain in the butt. You're getting into the poison ivy and all that junk and ticks and everything else. But so the strength of this obviously is we can push it under, but the weakness is that it does not like to grab small logs. It wants to spring open it. It wants to let them go. So that's, I mean, that's about the minimum size. And it's, it's gonna wanna shoot open, you know? 
the bigger the tree, the more beneficial. I feel most of the time I really do like a standard choker. And both, let's, for those of you not familiar, both ends are identical. This end has got the same knob, so we could slide this down. And we could slide this gear down and go to here, or it could be at the other end, it doesn't matter. One of these bells, it's a choker bell, one of them goes into the, the slide tackle that's on the main line. Which, all of you who own that kind of gear already know this. I don't have to tell you. You already know this. But if you don't know what any of this is, and you if you want to go to this style, but you don't have a winch that big, if you're sick and tired of pushing chains, and you want to try chokers, real cable chokers, you can buy them and weld just a stub of SCED 40. This is a piece of handrail. SCED 80 would be even better. You can weld that anywhere on your machine. Take this bad boy, you push it through, you take that $5 Chinese vice grip. It's better if you grind the teeth off, but you don't have to. You clamp that sucker right there, and that's it. So this is welded to your chassis. Buy 10 footers, don't buy short chokers. If you're gonna just flat drag stuff, you're gonna need all the length you can get. If you don't believe me, see the video, uh, poor man dozer logging. This choker and this vice grip pulled a 60 foot pretty good sized single stick red oak out of the woods and pulled it across the road to the landing the tree's already been sold so i don't have a big winch on my machine i own one i just don't have all the hydraulic parts to put it on so this is what i'm dealing with for now where where there's a will there's a way if you got a pile of logs you got to pull today and you ain't got no money then woulda coulda shoulda and you can wish in one hand and shit in the other just go weld something on your machine get your vice grips get a choker and, and get after it now here's another option for you. This is on a trailer mover attachment of mine that I, you know, occasionally have to use a chain to pull a vehicle or something like that. But that's a regular grab hook, completely standard grab hook, used to end right there. And that's just a half a link of chain that's been welded, closed up, welded and, you know, smoothed in, look pretty. So it slides, it slides underneath the log, still just as easy. It makes it, when you've got thick gloves on and it's, your fingers are frozen and everything's hard and frozen up, it makes it a little bit easier to have that radius mouth, to have a chain drop right into the, into the grab. It makes it harder for it to fall out. Obviously, that's a piece of soft copper if my camera would stay in focus. That is a piece of just Romex, you know, ground wire. That acts as a gate and it's not going to rip out or anything. So just one more little cheap thing you can do homemade and firewood low-grade wood it's hard to make a living in low-grade wood you if you're a woods guy you already know that that the forest produces very little veneer and tons of junk and you can't make any money in junk it's a commodity market we're all too small to modify the the market so we have no choice but to move faster if we want to make money so these are little ways you can move faster not walking back to rehook the thing that should not have fallen off in the first place. Make one of these up, put a little piece of wire. It ain't going to fall off. You ain't going to waste your time. So you can make one pull and get your stick out and not be cussing and walking.